Hey everybody, let's take a look at question number nine, which there, there's a couple strategies you can use here depending on your comfort level, knowing how to find the distance between two points. It says on a coordinate plane, the vertices of a rectangle are, and then they give them to you here. Now what I like to do sometimes is actually write them out like this. Why? Because it might help you to identify horizontal lines and vertical lines. So once we have all those down, they wanna know what is the perimeter of the rectangle? So recall we've been using two different words to help us remember if it's a vertical line or a horizontal line. So let's start with the word that we've been using. Hey, hey, hey you, hey. So remember in class, we said that horizontal lines have matching Y coordinates. So if we look for matching Ys, see these two have matching Ys, right? This is a match to that. So then, when that's true, then you do something magical with the x values. But before you do that magical thing, you first have to decide, are they in the same quadrant? Since this is a negative negative and this is a positive negative, when that's not a match, then you say they're in different quadrants. So when they're in different quadrants, recall that we add the absolute values of these two x coordinates. So if we add the absolute value of a negative one with the absolute value of a three, that would give us a horizontal line of four. So remember, horizontal means going this way. So if one of the sides of the rectangle is four, doesn't that mean the other side is four? So now we're gonna look for a vertical line and we're using our favorite reindeer, Vixen, to help us remember. Remember, vertical lines, vertical lines have matching X coordinates. So if we look for matching X's, so let me erase this so we don't get confused. Matching X's, I see these two right here. Let me move these two down. These two that I have on the top have matching X's. See, this and this are the same. The first coordinate is the X, the second one is the Y. So when that's true, then you do something magical with the absolute values of the Y's, right? Now, are they in the same quadrant? This is a negative negative. This is a negative positive. They're not in the same quadrant. So when that's true, then you add the absolute values of these two numbers. So go ahead and do that. What's the absolute value of a negative four plus the absolute value of a one and write that number here. And whatever that number is, you're gonna put it on this side of the rectangle because remember opposite sides of rectangles are congruent. Opposite sides of rectangles are congruent. Now, if this fails you, Remember perimeter, you're gonna add up all those numbers, the distance around the figure. Then you're just gonna to have to plot all the points. So if we plot the points, we're gonna go left one, left one, up one, plot the point. So that's this one right here. Go over three, up one, let's plot that point. That's here. Go left one and down four, left one down four, and then go over three, over three, down four. And then if we connect the points, let's use the line tool for that. Connect them, so we'll connect this with this. And we have another one going that way. We have one going this way. And we have one going this way. Okay, now figure out the perimeter that way. So take your pick, either look at this, freeze frame it, pause it, count the units, or use what you know about absolute value.